Hi everyone, welcome to Lasha's Homestead. This is Lasha here, of course. <laughs> I wanted to share some of the peppers that we're gonna be growing for the spring 2023 season. We have two, sale, two trays here. These are 40 sale trays, and we're gonna try to get all of the peppers that we're growing. Now, I'm only going to be, the majority of the peppers that I'm gonna be growing is peppers that we actually use. I'm gonna to try to grow a lot of bell peppers because we cook with that. And then I have some other um, specialty peppers that I'll grow in one sale for the spring 2023 season. So the first pepper here, I seen this online, I thought it was pretty cool. It said it's the uh, a hot commodity in the culinary world. So I said, why not try this? I'm only gonna grow this in one sale, but this pepper is called, I'm gonna try my best to pronounce it, Aji Charapita, Aji Charapita. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this started. Let me give it a little seed. Go ahead and get this uh, pepper started. I only have one sale for this, I believe, because I've never grown this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put three seeds in this sale. Guys, it is so windy outside today, so forgive me, forgive the noise, okay? I purchased, Lord, I can't even get this out of here. <laughs> I purchased a microphone on Amazon, it was like $20. Um, but I'm not sure how good the quality is gonna be, but I haven't set it up yet. I need to read the instructions. It just came in the mail yesterday. I'll put these back in the drawer because the wind is blowing. It just came in the mail yesterday. So I'm gonna try to play with it this week to see how it sounds because it's pretty windy out here and we also live by a railroad. So I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, you can hear the train in the background. And I know that can be pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying for me, but I've gotten accustomed to it. <laughs> I've gotten accustomed, accustomed to it now. The next pepper is gonna be the Anaheim chili pepper. All right, definitely wanna get some chili peppers started. Ooh, these are some pretty big pepper seeds. I'm only gonna put two per sale for the Anaheim chili pepper. And this is supposed to be a hot pepper. A hot pepper. All right. Get that put in the sale here. Have you guys gotten your pepper seeds started? And if so, what type of variety seeds are you guys starting? All right, guys, here come that wind I told you about. <laughs> oh. And I'm getting these put in. <clears throat> I went ahead and pre-moistened the soil so that it could be easier on me. This here is the banana pepper, the sweet banana pepper. Now, one thing that confuses me, it says sweet banana pepper, but it says hot right there. Can y'all see that? It says hot. So I don't understand how this could be a sweet and hot pepper at the same time. Maybe it's the flavor profile, you know. All right, how many sales? I have two sales for the banana pepper. All righty. Ooh, do you guys like banana peppers? I love me some peppers. <laughs> I love peppers. I can eat peppers by themselves as a snack. There we go, got that planted. I can eat them as a snack. Just make me a little charcuterie board. <laughs> and put some peppers on it. Alrighty, I have a full sale that's dedicated to the Keystone bell peppers and the California Wonder bell peppers. So I'll do that last. But next, we have the Casabella. This is a red and yellow pepper. And this is a hot pepper. And I really enjoyed this Casabella pepper. One of the ladies at work, she her husband grew these peppers and she brought them for us and I really enjoyed them. 
so I wanted to grow some for myself. And all these peppers, guys, I'm I'm gonna eat majority of these peppers. I dropped a pepper seed, picking that up. <laughs> I'm gonna be eating majority of these pepper seeds. My husband, he does not like spicy food. Whoa, look at that wind. <laughs> He does not like spicy food, so I'm gonna be enjoying majority of this by myself and then also cooking with it. I'm trying to get him acclimated to the heat. I be sneaking pepper and stuff in his food. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Next we have the cayenne blend. Man, I have two rows of cayenne pepper because I love the heat. I like to make cayenne ranch. And I like to, I mean, I just put cayenne pepper on everything. Because I love me some cayenne pepper. I love some cayenne pepper. But this is a quiet evening. It feels really good outside. So I decided to come out and plant some seeds to get ready. But it's pretty windy out. That's the only thing. But I don't mind the wind because when this Texas heat starts to rev up i'm not even gonna want to come out here guys <laughs> but that's when getting up early and coming out early or in the afternoon works for us down here because it is really hot in texas i have my off candle right here if you can i wonder if you guys can see my little off candle uh, my little candle right here the mosquitoes is not playing okay Mosquitoes, it's not. This is another variety. Did I show you guys the cayenne? It's just the uh, standard, the cayenne blend. And then this one here is the long thin cayenne pepper. And I noticed I put the blend in this tray. Let me move this over. I'm glad I didn't stuff that down in there just yet. Mm. Oh, it's just a nice lovely evening I have done all my chores for the weekend we've gotten today is Sunday if I didn't mention by the way so we have all of our work clothes washed house is clean cook cook some food for the week mm. And we are set to go. So I said, well, I have a little extra time. Why don't I go start my pepper seeds? Because I wasn't going to do anything but watch TV. I'm just rambling, y'all. <laughs> I'm just rambling. Last night, I watched Top Gun for the first time. So the new Top Gun came out a few months ago. But I never watched it, so my husband wanted me to watch Top Gun. So we watched the first one and then turn around and watch the second one. We were up, we were up late last night. <laughs> we took a nap in the middle of the day. And then we were up in the middle of the night. So we watched Top Gun till like 3 o'clock in the morning. Till 3 in the morning but it was a really good movie I've never I know Top Gun has a pretty cult following but I've never watched it before but I must say it was a really good movie so if you guys haven't seen it I would recommend it it has a lot of good action in it and then what new movies been released uh I think me and my son tonight we're gonna watch Megan <laughs> He wants to watch a movie called Megan. I think it's like this robot AI girl. I don't know. But I normally, I'm not a TV watcher. But when we don't have anything to do, I don't mind watching some shows. I like the old school shows. They have a lot of new shows that I really can't really get into. I like a lot of the old school shows. Peaceful. Do you guys, I love Frasier now. I can turn on Frasier at the end of the night and fall asleep, put the uh, sleep timer on the TV and fall asleep to Frasier, to Everybody Loves Raymond. 
um, me and my son, we did binge watch uh, Family Matters. He really enjoyed Family Matters. At, at first, he didn't want to watch it, but um, he enjoys Family Matters. I, I like Martin, of course. And I just, I also binge watched, not just, but last year, I went and rewatched the Jamie Foxx show. I forgot how good that show was. The Jamie Foxx show. All right, so I just put in all of my cayenne peppers. The next one is this Chocolate Beauty. Check that out. The Chocolate Beauty. This is looks like a bell pepper variety. So we're going to get the Chocolate Beauty put in. And I just have one sale for the Chocolate Beauty because I actually have a few pepper seeds that I've started already. And I believe Chocolate Beauty, I have maybe like two or three of them in the house. So I'm just gonna do one sale of the Chocolate Beauty. Guys, I was setting up to come out here and I went back inside. My pepper seeds was all over the yard all over the yard the wind just took them and blew them everywhere the next one <clears throat> excuse me is the coral bell pepper that is such a pretty color that's a pretty bell pepper i can't wait to use that that is a pretty bell pepper <sighs> it's so peaceful outside right now where is my little coral bell pepper tab at? Here it is. It's so peaceful. I'm rambling so much. I might just put some music over, like some a soft instrumental. I can't even get that out. Let me try to just do it with my hands. I have three cells dedicated to these coral bell peppers. I love my, I love to cook the jerk chicken pasta and we use the orange, yellow, red, and green bell pepper in the pasta. So I wanted to make sure I got enough of that growing for our pasta. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll just chop all these up as they come in. I'll just chop them up and put them in a gallon Ziploc bag and freeze them. And when we get ready to use them, take them on out. The next pepper seed is the Daedal pepper. This was a freebie from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And I just have one uh, sale dedicated to this one here because I've never tried it before. Uh-uh, what was that noise? I mean, it went back in the house. <laughs> I mean, ran back in the house quick. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I've never even heard of a date of pepper. Put that back in. And what do we have here? Fire and ice. I believe fire and ice. Whoa. Uh oh. Fire and ice was a freebie from Seeds and Such. It looked kind of cute. Um, I believe it was like a multicolored pepper, but I've never grown it before. And it's only like a few seeds, maybe three seeds in here. So I'll just go ahead and pour all of those in there and throw this away. I believe it was a multicolored seed, but that was from seeds and such. All right, next one is the jalapeno gigantia. Come on guys. If you're a gardener, you know you gotta put some jalapenos in the yard. I heard someone, I watched a video earlier and she said she purchased some jalapenos. They have the jalapeno flavor, but it's just not spicy. I'm like, what? That is nuts. I gotta have the spice. <laughs> I have three cells dedicated to my jalapenos here. All right, guys, I'm back. My alarm went off <laughs> and it stopped uh, filming, but I'm recording on my phone today. But as I was saying, I gotta have the jalapenos. I gotta have the spice of the jalapenos. 
So we have three growing in each cell here. We use jalapenos in everything, everything. Guys, I have two seeds that I dropped here and I don't know what they are. I'm just gonna smash them on down. I hope they were the, they're in the row with the Casabellas. So I hope they're Casabella seeds, I hope. But let's get these jalapenos pushed on in there. And we're gonna get these on the heating mat and get these babies growing. <clears throat> Now, our last expected, I just had to come on and say this. Our last expected cross date was February 18th. <laughs> and guess what, y'all? Next week, it's going to get down in the 30s. I'm like, I, you can't trust this weather. You just can't. <laughs> That's why I didn't start my seeds early. Because I knew it, it was just false advertisement. <laughs> False advertisement. So I was watching the news and they said you can expect it could be a possibility of a freeze all the way until April 20th. Alright, the next pepper we're growing. This is my favorite pepper. Man, I can just eat these straight out of the glass. I love them. These are the pepperoncini. I hope I'm saying that right. But I love these peppers, man. I put them on my salad. Oof. These are the best. These are the best peppers to me. I mean, I haven't found one to top them. Y'all, I keep, I keep hearing something back there. Hell to the no. Let me hurry up and finish. <laughs> Let me hurry up and finish. Let me make sure I can see back there. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm so scary. I'm ready to wrap it up. Like, bye, y'all. <laughs> uh -uh. I hope my son is not on the other side of the house. He do like to scare me sometimes, but he better not be playing with me. Don't play with me, boy. Y'all, I'm paranoid now. I keep looking up. It's not gonna be a uh, one of those Michael Myers movies. Uh-uh. All right, we got the poblano pepper. <clears throat> and uh, I just have two sales for the poblanos. We don't use that much, that many poblano peppers. Really, we just use it to make our corn salsa and in a couple recipes, so we're not gonna grow that many poblano peppers. Yeah. Maybe it's the wind, something, you know, the wind is blowing something back there and I'm just being paranoid. And it could be what it is, but. keep y'all long I just wanted to turn on the camera talk to you guys for a little bit while I planted some pepper seeds and this here is another variety of poblano this is a let's see a Boston yeah I don't know how to say that Boston F1 OG I know the OG is organic but what does F1 mean y'all what does that mean I need to see what the F1 means. Check that out and see what that means. Fido! I just realized the dog is out here. Was that you making that noise? Fido! I think it might have been my dog. Did y'all see him walking back there? I just realized I just realized the dog was out here. <laughs> that probably was him back there. Fido! Fido! Come on, let's introduce you to everybody. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Say hi. 
say hi. Hello, uh-uh, you know we don't do that. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right, was that you scared me, huh? Were you scared me, buddy? All right, so the next one is the Serrano. Okay, Serrano pepper. We love the Serrano pepper when we're making our uh, Mexican dishes. We love the Serrano pepper. Especially in our um, Spanish rice. We just throw that Serrano pepper right in that Spanish rice and it gives it such a good flavor. So I have one sale for the Serrano pepper. All right. This next pepper, I've never had this pepper before, but oh my goodness, it's such a sensation online and everyone's saying how prolific it is. But this is the Shishito. This is the Shishito pepper. I've never had this pepper before. I've never had this pepper before, but I can't wait to try it. Everyone says it's such a prolific pepper and um, it's a really good pepper to have in your home. So I'm gonna try it out and maybe it might become a staple. It may become a staple in the home. protect me Fido don't come standing close to me you little scary self you supposed to protect me be a alarm dog or something all right that's the shishito shishito why can't I say that guys shishito pepper so this next pepper whoo guys I'm most excited to grow this pepper man I can't wait to make some preserve with this mm. but this is the sugar rush peach pepper look at that oh goodness isn't that a pretty pepper that is such a pretty pepper i can't wait to grow this guys man man i can't wait how do you guys thin your seeds i don't like thinning seeds i feel like it's such a waste of money i do not like to thin seeds not like to thin seeds but we're gonna make some uh, jam okay we're gonna make some jam and a preserve with these here oh I just can't wait to try them to taste them goodness they look so good all right and I believe we have already did this one I'm not sure let me dig through here and see if I've taken care of this one I haven't but this is the candy cane pepper from seeds and such I'm only growing one cell with these because I have three that I've started in the home in, inside of the home so I'm not gonna I'm only gonna do one cell from the dollar the dollar tree but I'll get to those this is the keystone pepper now I started these keystone peppers and the California wonder peppers maybe about two two or three weeks ago but because I didn't have the grow lights what is that Because I didn't have the grow lights, they all became leggy and they just died. So I did a DIY grow light. And you know what? I might just put one per sale so I won't have to thin them out because I don't have that many seeds. I don't have that many of the Keystone because I planted majority of them. What are you doing, JJ? 
that's my son. He's gonna go check to see what the noise is. I hope. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So that was five, 10, that's 14. I have, that's 14. And these are two extra seeds. I don't know what they were, but they were sitting over here. So I planted them. But these are the Keystone Resistant um, Giant Peppers. And that's a bell pepper. And let's get those pushed down. Do you guys grow a lot of bell peppers? Man, I, I have to grow a lot of bell peppers. One thing, we try to grow what we actually eat. When I first start, first start gardening, I used to see all these people growing different type of uh, vegetables and fruit, and we would grow it and didn't even like it. So that's one thing that I learned my second year of gardening. This is gonna be my third year, but that's one thing I learned my second year. The first year, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't grow nothing nothing i think we got maybe a few cucumbers um what else did we get a few cucumbers we got some okra and what else we had watermelon i think we harvested maybe two watermelons that's it because the watermelons we had raccoons and squirrels and they were eating the watermelon and <laughs> they was tearing it up I'm going to insert some clips. I'm going to go back in my, uh, on my card, my SD card and look for the watermelon. They tore us up that year, man. But I, um, I got on to them. I set a little trap for they, but, and then I kind of set up the yard also to where they couldn't get in, to where they couldn't get in. Okay, so that's the Keystone. I have the California California Wonders that I received from the Dollar Tree. I also have more seeds. Uh, I have more California Wonders. Let me just get these all out. Banana pepper. That's more jalapeno. I already got some jalapeno started. I still have to take care of those. We've already did some of these, so I'm not going to grow that. Got to grow this. All right, so I have some California Wonders here, and I have the Dollar Tree. Bam. So I'm going to do a sale with just the Dollar Tree, and then this here came from a Homestead's Heart. So I'm going to get those started. And I'm also gonna be sharing these bell peppers with my family also. What I'll do, I'll probably have them buy me some more, um, some more supplies for seed starting. So y'all want some bell peppers? All you gotta do is bring your own Ziploc bags. Bring your own good black bag, get you some bell pills. Okay, so that's two rows from the homestead part. And let me see. I feel like I didn't grow enough jalapenos. Well, I did. I have three rows of jalapenos, so I'll put that on. And this is the, yeah, the bell pepper. It's just California. This is how the seed pack looked from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if these babies germinate. I see a lot of people on uh, YouTube that actually grow seeds from the Dollar Tree. The germination rate isn't as high, 
but heck, it still grows. I think it's like 60% germination rate. So I'm gonna put three per cell. I can already tell some of the seeds is not gonna grow. They have like brown and black spots on them. So I'm gonna put three per cell. And I don't mind thinning these out since it was only 25 cents. been having seed starting mix for uh, two years now. I've been using the same seed starting mix, but now it's time for me to make some more because I'm actually running low. if I should do a video just to have it on my page I know a lot of people probably already know how to start their own seed start mix but I might do a video on my DIY seed start mix because a lot of the ones at the store have sticks in them and this some of this is mixed in with mine I had to buy a pack because they didn't have the um, the lime, the dolomite lime that I use for my seed start mix. So I just bought a pack. I think it was like $6, which is pretty affordable because it was an eight quart bag. So I think a eight, the eight quart bag could fit maybe two of these trays, maybe one and a half of this 40 tail tray, which isn't bad to me. It's not bad. Um, especially when you think about the harvest that you're going to get so the two sea starting mix that i seen at the store um one was by miracle grow and it wasn't organic um and then there was another by jiffy and that one was organic and i believe the jiffy mix was made with cocoa core and the miracle grow seed starting mix was made with peacocks I've been seeing a lot of bad stuff online about peat moss. But peat moss ain't never did nothing to me. I feel like you turn on the TV and everything is bad. You can go online and Google fish and they'll tell you why it's bad to eat fish or beef or chicken. It's always something going on online. So, which is why we've decided to kind of help and grow some of our own food to cut down on that problem but I typically for my seed starting mix I typically use peat moss I use perlite vermiculite and I use uh, uh -oh, dolomite in my seed start mix and it lasts me forever well not forever uh oh the wind's blowing again seeds to go away it's lasted me for about two years the big bag of peat moss at the time i think was like two years ago was maybe like 13 dollars. but now i went in the store and i seen it was like 20 dollars. i was like no oh, two years i know we have inflation but you jumped up like seven dollars okay 
and then they put out a news report saying that Amer um, Americans the spending is at an all-time high. Well, the prices is at an all-time high. <laughs> That's why. That's why we spending so much. Not that we want to. But man, you really, I would really recommend starting just, just trying to grow one thing because grocery prices, oh my goodness. It's getting out of hand. See, this is that um, mix, and it has so many little bitty tree limbs and all of that in there. You don't have to worry about that when you when you create your own little mix. You don't have to worry about pulling out sticks and all kinds of stuff. And this is the Jiffy, if I didn't say that previously. But yeah, I would definitely recommend starting your own garden. Even if you just have a little patio and you can grow one or two things in a pot, I would definitely grow it. Like you can get, I think I've seen some for $13 at Lowe's. But I mean, it was probably about the size of this a little longer. But heck, I said, man, somebody can take that and just put some onion, three about 12 onion starts in that tray and just put that on their patio and grow some uh, onions or they can put some garlic in there or you can get a vertical uh, planter you know they have vertical planters in there for $50 I believe and that's a good price compared to the green stalks that you see online I believe you're average you're going to pay for a green stock is between 150 to 200 dollars so i mean if you just want to try out and you don't you're not sold on the green stock you can go and purchase that 50 dollar vertical planter for your patio and not just for patio, for people who have small spaces that they grow on. You know, the yard may not be that big. My yard isn't big, so I'm doing everything I can to try to grow. Our home is on, we're not nowhere near an acre. We're probably a third of an acre. A third of an acre. So everything in the yard, I try to make it make space for as much as I can in the yard. I better hurry up. It's getting pretty dark out here. Ooh, but it feels good. The wind, the breeze feels so good though. All right, this is the red Marconi pepper. Ooh. And I just have one sale for this. Just one sale for the red Marconi. this back in here and I think the red Marconi I got that from um, where did I get the red Marconi let me think guys I believe I got that from Little Shop of Seeds Little Shop of Seeds all right, the next is the orange habanero. And I love a good habanero pepper. I love to make um, taco sauce with habanero peppers. And these came from Little Shop of Seeds. My son was trying to squeeze through under there. I wonder if y'all see him. <laughs> he came back here to sit with his mama. Habaneros going. 
I think this is this came from all right guys I'm back I believe the last seed we were planting was the orange habanero we got that planted and we also planted the Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper I purchased those seeds from humble servant homestead on Etsy and I believe that's all we have for you today so I want to thank you so much for joining Elisha's homestead and go ahead and get your pepper seeds started get it growing for the 2023 season you guys have a great day thanks for watching bye-bye